we extrude this shape to make it into a 3D object. Before I do that, I'm going to toggle quad view. In the right orthogonal view, I'm going to press E to extrude. Now, for some reason, it's uh, added a Z constraint, but that doesn't matter. I can do whatever I like in this panel here. There's the Z constraint. So if I take that off, if I drag over the X value, we can extrude in the X direction. And if I drag over the Y value, we can extrude in the Y direction. And we can enter numeric values. I don't want to extrude in the X direction, so I'm entering 0, 0, and I'm going to enter a value of 0.4 for the Z. We now have a 3D model, but it's very low polygon. To add polygons and to shape the spoon at the same time, I'm going to use the sub -sur subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to set the number of views to 2, and I'm going to apply it. You can't apply in edit mode, so I'm going to go into object mode, click apply, and then back into edit mode. And if I zoom in using the mouse wheel, you can see we've got many more faces and the spoon is now ready for shaping. I'm going to pan and zoom to ready to shape the end of the spoon. I'm zooming with the mouse wheel and panning shift and middle mouse button. I'm going to select a vertex in the middle of the spoon and I'm going to do G to grab and Z for Z direction to, to move it downwards. But before I do that, I must turn proportional editing on. Enable proportional editing and make sure it's set to smooth. Now, when I press G to grab and Z for the Z direction, not only does the vertex move, but all the vertexes, vertices around it and if I use the mouse wheel, the circle represents the area of vertices that are affected. And if I make a nice big circle, we can make a nice bowl shape at the end of the spoon. I need to pan and zoom to select the other end of the spoon. Zoom out here shift and middle mouse button to pan across. Again select a, a vertex in the middle and press G for grab and Z for Z direction and I can move the end of the spoon down. I need to make the circle much bigger to get a nice shaped end of spoon. That's about it for a simple, reasonably low poly spoon. Uh, if I go into object mode and apply smooth shading, it's pretty smooth. Uh, in this front view, you can see a few ridges. That can be fixed by again going to modifiers and add the subdivision surface modifier again. And just with the uh, view to one, that's pretty smooth bowl there. That's the end of this tutorial. I'll put the finished file and some of the intermediate files at my website, freemovies.co.uk. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.